Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Sarah Jane and I bring you with me on all things personal finances and vlogs and wedding planning and all that fun stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe because it really helps support my channel. Today's video is a February financial closeout. Um, I have recently gotten engaged, which means that my finances are now um, going towards wedding planning, wedding savings. So typically this video is an overview of all my personal finances, but since wedding savings has taken up such a large portion of that, it's mostly now just talking about wedding savings. So <laughs> that's what today's video is gonna be about. Um, you guys have really seemed to be enjoying that I'm writing these numbers out, so I'm going to do that again today. Um, and yeah, like let's just go ahead and get into the numbers. Someone mentioned the other day that they actually really like my handwriting, which is super sweet because I don't. Um, but I, I appreciated it, I really did, because I think I've mentioned multiple times on this channel that I do not like my handwriting. <laughs> So let's go ahead and start with how much I had saved up already for the wedding fund when February started. So I had started saving back in December or January timeframe, back when I had an inkling that Trey may propose, but I wasn't for sure. So I was just kind of squirreling money away, not necessarily for a wedding savings fund and I didn't really talk about it. I had it like a secret stash sort of thing is what I called it. Um, but yeah, so starting off the month of February, I had already saved $700, which honestly, ladies, if you think your man is proposing, best decision I ever made. It felt so good to be engaged and know that I already had, like from day one, some money set aside. So if you think your man's gonna propose, I would recommend. <laughs> Then going in to how much I actually transferred this month. So week one, uh, we had a transfer of $50. Um, it was not like a, a pay week. And so I took this from my vehicle transportation fund because I had not needed the full amount for gas that week. Week two, um, I had transferred 325 Week three, I did not make a transfer Tuesday about this video. Uh, week three was kind of a little bit all over the place. Pretty much this was the week that Trey moved in, so there was a lot of moving expenses going on. Um, I did end up transferring a 200 this week, um, and it's unexpectedly, and um, long story short, I, I needed cash for an expense for the wedding. So I went ahead and transferred a 200 that week. And then week four, which we just finished and closed out the last transfer Tuesday of the month, that was $800. So the biggest transfer was the last week, which was super exciting. And by this point, Trey had moved in, so I was able to start funneling more money into the fund, which means that uh, in total for the month of February, we had transferred $1,375, which is super exciting, like such a great way to start our first month of being engaged. Um, Additionally, like as I'm figuring out the wedding budget and I've been, I'm going to share that with you guys as soon as the numbers are finalized. We're still kind of figuring it out because we haven't completely like joined our finances yet. So March is the first month that's gonna be like that and that will be like a really tell all tale of how much our wedding budget is gonna be. Um, so this money wasn't part of like the original wedding budget that I was thinking of because I started it in March for my calculations, but really happy with the way February turned out with 1,375. So if you include the 700 that I have already saved from the month of December and January, that made it $2,075 total for the wedding, which is amazing. It makes me so happy, you guys. Honestly, like cash flowing the wedding is, I think, just gonna make things so much easier and less stressful and I'm just like really pumped. Um, so that's how much we have saved. 
Uh, I thought I would also share with you guys how much we have spent so far for the wedding. Um, this format might change later in the future, but for right now, we'll just do it like this. So far for the wedding, I have spent $1,282.50. Um, this was for a 50% deposit for a planner. Um, I ended up needing to get a full-time wedding planner because I am working full-time at a pretty stressful job and I also go to grad school in the evening so planning a wedding very quickly added a lot of stress to my life that I did not need um, so honestly super happy to pay that she has been amazing so far and I've loved working with her um, and it's and she's just been so helpful so that's how much we've spent so far on the wedding is um, a deposit for a planner so that is our wedding finances for our February closeout. I did also want to mention just the extra income that I made in February because I feel like my extra income is something that I typically share with you guys. Um, so this month wasn't the best month but we did have $72 from photography. Um, so pretty pumped about that. Um, I haven't quite decided where we're putting the $72, if it's going to go towards the wedding fund or we have a trip this week to San Diego that we have been planning for a while now and might end up going to that. So anyways, that's it for February closeout. These are our numbers. It's super exciting. Alrighty, so that is it for our February closeout. Pretty exciting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed knowing where the money is going for the wedding. I feel like it's super helpful. I, I don't know, I hope this is helpful for any other potential brides that are trying to cash flow their wedding. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it really helps support my channel. And I hope you're excited for future videos because we are combining our finances and it's gonna be a really fun time here on this channel. And that's about it, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.